Hello and welcome back my friends. If you're new here, my name is Laura and I usually make videos about hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome to help educate, raise awareness, and share my experiences and advice living with this condition. But today I am straying away from my usual hypermobile EDS content to talk about kyphoscoliotic Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This is part of a video series where I give each of the 12 rare subtypes of EDS their own introductory educational video. I have several videos out already, so please go check them out if you're interested and stay tuned for future videos in this rare subtype series. So what exactly is kyphoscoliotic Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome? Kyphoscoliotic EDS, also known as KEDS, is an extremely rare condition that causes kyphoscoliosis, which is an abnormal curvature of the spine in both the front to back and side to side directions, low muscle tone, and joint hypermobility, which means having joints that move past a normal range of motion. Kyphoscoliotic EDS belongs to a group of 13 related but separate genetic connective tissue disorders known as the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes. The hypermobile subtype of EDS, which is the type that I have, is by far the most common, accounting for about 90% of all EDS cases. The kyphoscoliotic subtype is extremely rare and accounts for less than 1% of all EDS cases and has a prevalence of less than 1 in a million people. KEDS is caused by genetic variants found on the PLOD1 and FKBP14 genes. These genetic variants negatively affect the way the body produces connective tissue, which provides support, protection, and structure throughout the body. Kyphoscoliotic EDS is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern. This means if a person inherits the genetic variant from both of their parents, they will have KEDS. People with only one copy of the genetic variant are carriers of KEDS, and carriers do not have the disorder themselves, but they may pass the genetic variant onto their children. Kyphoscoliotic EDS is diagnosed through genetic testing, and genetic testing should be considered on anyone who meets the diagnostic criteria for KEDS. For kyphoscoliotic EDS, the diagnostic criteria are separated into general and gene-specific categories because the genetic variants of the two different genes that cause KEDS cause some similar and some different symptom presentation. The major criteria are all general, meaning the criteria applies to both genetic variants, and the minor criteria are separated into three categories, general minor criteria, and minor criteria specific to the PLOD1 gene, and minor criteria specific to the FKBP14 gene. To meet the diagnostic criteria for KEDS, a person must meet all three major criteria or major criterion one and two and three minor criteria, which can be either general or gene specific. Major criterion one is the presence of congenital muscle hypotonia, meaning low muscle tone at birth. Major criterion two is the presence of congenital or early onset kyphoscoliosis. Major criterion three is the presence of generalized joint hypermobility with dislocations and or subluxations. A dislocation is a full separation of the connecting parts of a joint, and a subluxation is a partial separation of those parts, also called a partial dislocation. The 10 general minor criteria include skin hyperextensibility, meaning stretchy skin, easy bruisability, an aneurysm or rupture of a medium-sized artery, low bone density, blue sclerae, which means a bluish tint to the white parts of the eyes, abdominal hernia, pectus deformity, which is an abnormality of the breastbone and ribs that causes either a concave or convex appearance of the chest, marfanoid habitus, which is a tall, thin body type with long arms and long, slender fingers and toes, being born with club feet, and being near or farsighted. The four gene-specific minor criteria of the PLOD1 variant include presence of skin fragility such as easy bruising, thin skin, poor wound healing, and widened atrophic scarring, meaning wide scars that indent into the skin, fragility of the structures of the eyes, microcornea, meaning the clear tissue that covers the eyes is extremely thin, and facial deformities. The four gene-specific minor criteria of the FKBP14 gene variant include congenital hearing impairment, follicular hyperkeratosis, which is a skin condition that causes bumps to form around hair follicles due to a buildup of keratin, a skin protein, muscle atrophy, meaning muscle loss, and bladder diverticula, which are little pouches that form along the bladder wall due to tissue weakness. Because kyphoscoliotic EDS is a genetic disorder that you're born with, there is no cure, but there are many treatment options available. 
KEDS is managed by treating the various symptoms that each individual is experiencing. There's no one-size-fits-all treatment. Key aspects of care will usually focus on the musculoskeletal system, skin, and cardiovascular system. Treatment options to help manage the many other symptoms of KEDS may include medication, pain management, joint bracing, mobility aids, surgery, and physical therapy. Do you or anyone you know have kyphoscoliotic Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome? Let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to hear your story. If you thought this video was helpful, please click on the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and don't worry, it's completely free. If you click on the notification bell icon, you will be notified when I release new videos. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.